In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Valorant critical error has occurred message. So we're going to try four different steps. Just follow me. They're in Word right now, but I'm going to show you each and every single one on the computer as well. So the first one is to launch Valorant with administrator privileges. And the easiest way to do this is by going down here to your search and typing in Steam. First, before you do this, you have to make sure Steam is completely closed down so you don't have Steam open on your computer. Now, you can do this by right-clicking down here in the taskbar, clicking Task Manager, searching for Steam, and if there's nothing, it's closed down. However, if there's anything popping up, you want to click on it and press End Task. Now, what you then want to do is, of course, search for Steam yet again down here in Search, right-click it, and press run as administrator, okay? So this will open up Steam as administrator, and then you wanna open up the game from Steam itself. So if I show you how this works here in a second, just let my Steam open up. I'll show you how to open it up. So there we go, it's waiting for network. It will, of course, take a few seconds. It may ask you for your admin pin on your computer to be able to log in as an admin. And then once that's done, as you can see, you want to start Valorant from Steam itself. And the way you do this is by going to Library and finding Valorant over here, pressing it and pressing Play, okay? Now, hopefully, this will fix the issue. If it doesn't, proceed to step number two to keep the graphics drivers updated, which is done by searching for Device Manager on your computer. And you want to open it up. And you want to look for where it says Display Adapters. Extend this and look for which graphics card you're using, okay? Now, you can do this um, two ways. So you can right-click on each of these graphics cards, and then if there's an update available, it will show Update Driver. Press that, and then press Search Automatically for Drivers. Or the easier way, and the more, more reliable way, is to, if you're using an AMD graphics card, download um, AMD Adrenaline software, and then update your drivers automatically from there. Or if you're using NVIDIA, simply download GeForce Experience and then update your drivers from there automatically as well. These are the two options you have. And I recommend, of course, downloading their apps for the specific uh, graphics card you use and updating via that. And then you can also add Valorant to antivirus slash defender exceptions. Now, I recommend actually adding Steam to the exceptions and then running Valorant through Steam, okay? That's what's worked for me in the past. And the way you do this is by opening up your uh, antivirus. For me, it's Avast. And then in the, if you have Avast, it's going to be like I'm going to show you, but if you have a different antivirus, it may be a bit different. However, it's still pretty much the same procedure. So you want to go to Menu and then Settings, and you want to go to Exceptions and click Add Exception. And then in here, you want to click Browse, Look for Steam, which is over here. Click it, press OK, and then click Add Exception. That's it. Then try launching Valorant like I showed you earlier. So from Steam itself by going to Library and launching it from the Play button and see if that fixes the issue. And if it doesn't, there's one more thing you can do. You can launch the Services application on your Windows PC. So simply go down here and search for, excuse me, and search for Services. There we go, services. Um, I mistyped that, there we go. You wanna open this up. And then once you've opened up services, what you wanna do, you wanna locate, let me just move this over here so we'll see it clearly. There we go. What you then wanna do is locate um, kind of a program which is called VGC, okay? Now, you, almost, you also have to make sure you run this as an admin, okay? So, as I said, you search for services, right-click, run as administrator, and then you'll be good to go, okay? This will open up, there we go. And then, um, as I said, you want to look for VGC, okay? So you want to scroll down. I don't really have VGC right now because I don't have Valorant installed on this computer. I play it on my other PC, my gaming PC. But over here, where there's V, as you can see, you'll be able to find it. What you then want to do is right click on that VGC. I'm going to show you with this one, even though you will click on the VGC. So right click and press properties. And in the properties window, where it says startup type, um, over here, you want to click it 
and select automatic okay so we want to have this on automatic and then once you do that you want to click start okay now if the service was previously stopped this will start the service then you want to press apply and okay and that's it okay so once you've done that you can try running your valorant yet again and hopefully that will work for you so that's pretty much all the fixes we've got i hope this video helped you out and if it did please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well